Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. And recently when I updated the book, I added a new section on Google Sites. And Google Sites is a special feature that's offered by Google that lets you create simple websites. And this is actually the sample website that I created in the book. It's, uh, it's, a, it's for a fictional programming basics class at a high school in Iowa. And basically, I whipped up this very simple website using Google Sites. It took maybe, I don't know, half an hour or 45 minutes to uh, make it look okay. And it, you can see it has a couple different pages. Uh, first of all, there's a home page, and there's, I embedded a video here, and I embedded a uh, graph from Google Sheets. Uh, and then on the downloads page, I put a, uh, a couple of different resources that maybe students or parents can download like a programming camp schedule if they click on that it will appear in a new uh, window and you can maybe you know download it or print it out or whatever and then I also have a map of where the school is located in case uh, maybe some relatives or friends are coming to visit and they don't know where it is and then there's a special form that they can download and then finally I created a video page uh, where I have some video resources that uh, can help students learn programming. So the amazing thing about this is that, first of all, it didn't take long to create. Second of all, it's completely free to host this website. I'm not paying anything for this. This is a, a free feature that Google offers, and they'll set up the hosting, and uh, for the most part, it's pretty simple to run. And there's one thing worth mentioning about Google Sites, the URL, which you can see at the top here, it says sites.google.com, and then the uh, name of the entity that I use to create it. That's, the, that's my Google account for in30minutes.com. Um, you can't put your own URL up here. So let's say that you buy a URL for uh, weekshighschool.com. I could not use that for this website. Google has not allowed that type of integration, at least not yet. So uh, you're kind of stuck with the sites.google.com, kind of a semi-anonymous uh, URL up here. But for getting content on the web, this is probably one of the easiest tools out there. Um, you know, of course, you can try things like Squarespace or Wix or even older services such as uh, WordPress or Blogger. But uh, there's a learning curve associated with that. And some of them can cost quite a bit of money to get up and running in the way that you want them. And this is free and it's easy to use. And actually, if you already have a Google account or you use Google Drive, it's, it's already right there. So I'm not going to spend too much time talking about uh, what the Google Sites is because I basically just covered the basics. But I want to show you some basics on how to create one. And this is what you do if you want to create a Google Sites page. Go to uh, drive, Google Drive, drive.google.com. And here's all the files and things that you might have. And then you click on the New button. Scroll down to More. And then from the little pop-out drop-down menu, select Google Sites. So Google will kind of crank through that. It's, it's going to create a new site. And right away, it shows you a couple of different things. First of all, it gives you a, there's like a home page. It just starts out right there with a your page title. There's blank area below that. I'll get to that in a minute. And then there's some uh, options here on the top, including to preview and to publish. And then there's more options here to insert stuff. This is actually where a lot of the action happens, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. Um, and then also there's places on this menu, uh, on this little kind of uh, top level tabs, you can add pages by basically going here clicking the plus button, and you can change the appearance. Now, one thing that's worth mentioning about this is that, yes, you can customize your Google Sites, but the options to do it are kind of limited. So there are these default uh, themes that they have, and if you click on them, it will kind of change the fonts, maybe some background images. Um, but you can't, it, let's say that there's some special font you want to use, you probably can't use it with this because um, Google doesn't have that as one of the default fonts uh, or the colors that you can use. However, uh, by uploading custom images, you can make things look a little bit different. Anyways, let's go back to the very beginning. Um, so here we have your page title. Click on that and start typing if you want to change it. So let's say if I wanted to create a new website uh, for um, Johnson Middle School. Oops. 
spelled that wrong, just start typing. You don't have to hit return because if you do that, it will actually create a new space and maybe you don't want to do that. Or maybe you do. You can start adding some more information. Located in uh, Maryville, New York. Okay. So I've just created the header, uh, the header text. Note that as I hover over it, it gives me some new options here. So I can change the image. There's like a little kind of like, it looks like a map up here, like a black and gray map. To change that, you can either upload your own image, so maybe you have your own image, or you can just select one of the default uh, header images that it allows for the gallery. So actually there's some really nice kind of semi-anonymous uh, shapes and colors that you can use. So let's say that I wanted to make this blue. I select the blue, I just click it, and then I click the select button. There we go. That looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Now. Now it's the fun stuff. Now I can add things. Now the first thing that you might want to add here is text explaining what this is all about. So I can click text box on the insert pane and a little box appears and you can start typing. So uh, Johnson Middle School web page is for students, parents, and members. Oops of the community. By the way, this is the same in Windows and Mac and uh, practically any other uh, desktop computing platform that you use. Although if you're using an iPad or a big tablet, it might be uh, different controls. Uh, but this is the browser-based version of Google Sites. So I just added that text. That looks great. And then maybe if I wanted to add a, a, a picture, I could do that too. So the way that uploads work, there's a couple ways. One is you can upload it yourself from your drive from your hard drive. So I just click the upload button and um, let me see if I can find something that's worth putting in there. Um, okay, I have some, actually I'm not gonna use that because that's probably copyrighted. Uh, let's see if, all right. oh, here's a painting. It's kind of a pretty painting. So I'm gonna upload that. And it just, you can see, it placed the painting right there. And if I want to, I can just kind of grab it with my mouse and move it over so it's centered. Okay. I can also center this text too. I'm just going to double click on it, highlight it. So you kind of use your mouse, highlight the whole thing. And there's formatting buttons for alignment, adding bullets, whatnot. So I'm just going to align that to center. Okay. So now I have that pretty picture there for my middle school website. And then maybe below it, I can add a map. So the way that you do that is under insert, here's the uploads and the text box and images and stuff. You'll see there's some other stuff down here below. Google embeds. So you can embed a video, a calendar, which could be really useful, or you can embed a map. So let's embed a map. Um, so you can search for Johnson Middle School. Okay. So here it is. They found a Johnson Middle School. Select. And there it is. And maybe if I want to explain what that is, I can add another text box. So I just clicked text box up here. A new text box appears with a with the cursor blinking, so I can start typing. Here's whoops where we are located. Just kind of click out of it. Now maybe because it's, it's located below the map, I want to put it above. You'll see on the left side of each box, there's like a little dotted thing. And if you hover over it, your mouse will turn to like a bunch of four arrows pointing in all directions. So just basically grab that and then you can slide it up and put that there. And maybe this painting, if I want to get rid of it, I could just hover over it or actually click on the space where it's located. And then you'll see a trash can icon. So I can get rid of that. I'm going to center this again. So you get the idea. This is a pretty powerful thing. Now maybe I want to create another page. Go to pages. There's just one page right now, home. 
these three dots, whoops, these three dots, that shows more options. So you can duplicate the page. That's pretty useful. So let's say that I wanted to create maybe a home page for parents and a home page for teachers. I could do that. Basically, I duplicate the page. Um, maybe say home page for students. Done. So this actually looks just like the other page, the, the original home page, but maybe I can change the text. Student portal. Okay. And then I can ed edit this text down here. Okay. And I can get rid of this. Basically hover over it, click the trash can icon. I can get rid of the map because I think most students will be driven or take the bus. And then I can start to add more resources here. So the home page for students, I might want to add a, um, let's say, uh, uh, actually, let's go back to insert. And I want to upload something from Google Drive, let's say a PDF. So I can go, so it says under insert from Drive. This will open up your Google Drive account. And assuming you have lots of folders and files in there, maybe you can put something in there for the students. So uh, let's say, uh, let's see what's available for students. All right, this is actually something I wrote when I was a grad student. It's a curriculum for uh, students studying uh, computer science. So I could insert that in there. And then I could add a text box below it and say, here, here's next week's assignment for students in the computer science lab. Okay, and then I can move it around. So you can see right away that this can be a really powerful thing. You can keep on adding, you can keep on either duplicating or adding pages by clicking on the plus, new page. So let's call this one videos. So here's a new page, and then I can start adding videos. Um, go to Insert, YouTube, and it lets you search YouTube. So um, first day of school at middle school. Maybe there's a video that I want to put in the, on the, on the uh, Google Sites. Um, let's find something that's pretty safe. Yeah, here's like an official middle school video about the first day of school. Move it over a little bit. So once you've, once you've created your content, and right now I have home videos and home page for students, I'm ready to publish it. So I cl can click the publish icon. Now it gives a web address and, and actually basically this is the beginning of the, this is the beginning of it. And I'm going to call it Johnson Middle School. So you can see this will be, oh, someone already has that one. So maybe I'll call it Johnson Middle School Maryville. So I'm going to publish that. And then I can preview it. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. So here's the home of Johnson Middle School. This is the page for parents. There's a map on it, some information. Uh, I can go to the videos page and I can check out the uh, video here. Home page for students. I can click on that. And here's uh, next week's assignment for students in the middle lab. So you can see that this is a pretty powerful tool. And you know, if I wanna change some things, I can do that too. Uh, basically to find your to find your site, to take a look at your site again, go back to Google Drive, click on Recent, and here it is. I didn't give it a name, but I can go back in and start to edit it again. Now, obviously, there's probably a lot of changes to make, and maybe I want to show it to other people, let's say uh, collaborators, there might be other faculty or administrators at the school to make sure that they're okay with it, or maybe someone wants to change the appearance by clicking on themes. Maybe they want, um, you know, 
Aristotle. But there's lots of stuff you can do to make it look really great. And then hopefully, once you're ready, publish it. Copy a link, and you can send it to somebody. Here's a link to it. You can copy it, put it in an email. So it's a very flexible tool. For more information on how to get the most out of Google Drive, Docs, Sheets, and Slides, and Sites, Google Forms, I've written a book about it. And it gives lots of great tips on how to get started. It doesn't go super deep on how to do everything. But if you want to get started, this is a great place to look. Uh, go to in30minutes.com to see more information about it. And uh, I have many more videos there about using all kinds of Google tools. Thanks so much for watching.